Magalan, home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers, the Clerics, the Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Alps threatened the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. Jax, you've failed your mission. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure.
better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Kallax take them? No. No. If Kallax had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is a damn enemy territory. If Kallax returns, all of the soldiers find me. could find something useful in there. My skin. I look like one of the free people. There mustn't be a scrap of Elix left in my body. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. That's all that's here. I'd better move on.
here in enemy territory. What was Kallax doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observing. My jetpack. Finally, some luck. The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now. All I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? Dan, the land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. Come on, get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment, if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. 
Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive, and people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an ALB raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I've found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, and you got really lucky. An ALB raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of ALBs. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Trust is earned. That goes both ways. You'd better remember that. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next ALB raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here or come with me? Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotbor territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Durris. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. And neither of us want to end up as rot boar food. Are you ready to go on?
We should get moving. Okay. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Let's keep going. All right, and follow me. Are you ready to go on? Let's go. Are you ready to go on? What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliet. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Maybe they're alive. Haven't you checked? Checked on the enemy? Yes, well, maybe you're right. We're all allies in the fight against the Alps. But those ruins are dangerous. The rot boars might still be there. Why haven't you joined a faction? Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The clerics follow the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. Maybe I should join the outlaws. Huh. They might call themselves the kings of the desert, but they're just hanging on to survival like the rest of us. And that survival comes at the cost of anyone around them, even their own kind. Maybe I should join the Alps. You don't join the Alps. You're born one, or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me, but Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want, but all that will await you is misery and death. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So, what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? Let's go into the ruins. A brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Those clerics should be around here somewhere. Let's go. We should get moving. Ready to go on? <laughs> Looks like someone used this as a camp before now. Maybe I could use it. This place was so handy. <laughs> We 
We should get moving. Let's go. These ruins look like they were some sort of machine shop in the old world. You know about the old world? Only what I've learned on my travels. Ruins and wreckage. The old world is irrelevant. Irrelevant? It's where we all came from. The Berserkers want to grow the world back to what it was. The other factions pick through its bones, hoping to find the technology it left us. I'll get this one. And find clerics in Edan. All the factions come here. For intel, for resources. We all take from each other. At least it's just rage from the clerics for now. There have been wars in the past. And it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. Here, I found these. Elix technology. It's forbidden to Berserkers. Officially, you're supposed to hand it in when you arrive in Goliat. But that'll be your choice. Just don't go flashing those weapons around when we get back, okay? Some Berserkers are really strict about the laws. Others are more lenient. You see, we leave the Albs and the Clerics to rely on machines. In Edan, we use magic. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were Alps in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. Are you ready to go on? We should get moving. I'll help you. Let's go.
help you. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of albs that has broken away from Zaykor. Maybe they could be allies. You think the Separatists will help you fight the Alps? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together, we can defeat the Alps. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath.
Halt! Who goes there? Wait. Is that you, Jax? I thought you were dead. Do I look dead? No. It seems you can't be trusted even in death. They tried, but they weren't exactly successful, as you see. Have you ever heard of a failed execution? What was the real plan? Infiltrate somewhere undercover? No plan. They really tried to kill me. You expect me to buy that? Look at me. Do I look like I'm taking Elix? Why would I sacrifice that strength and then try and kill you? When have the Alexiters ever allowed people to stop taking Elix? Then what did happen? Why would they try and execute you? My raider was shot down. Kallax was there at the crash site. He carried out the directive. Execution of those who fail orders. I fell from a cliff when he shot me. Kallax must have thought he'd done his job. But I'm alive. And I want answers. I wouldn't have believed that a few months ago. However, that story fits with other things that I have seen and heard. There is a change in Zaycor. Troops being withheld. Commanders changed. Orders aren't followed with the precision we were used to. What do you think is happening? I've only just started thinking. In Zaycor, I was a drone. An Elix-fed soldier. They didn't tell me anything. Now, I'm just a soldier. And without the Elix to dull me, I get to be pissed that I wasn't told anything. What exactly is your job out here? Reconnaissance. We're gathering information on the free people. The Albs and Zacor want us dead as traitors. The free people don't know what to make of us. We're surrounded by threat on all sides. But it was the same in Zacor. There have been changes since the Alexiters took control of the courts of the palace. You were probably a victim of those changes. Do you know Kallax's current location? His troops moved through a pass to the north in the highlands of Abessa a few days ago. The Ice Palace is gathering its strength. If you ask me, we should prepare ourselves for a large-scale attack soon. Almost every day, we get a new stream of soldiers and officers defecting to us. So we're still hearing news from Zaycor. Your name has been dropped, dishonored, and another commander has taken your place. So, you believe me? Well... You're here, and they lied about you. I don't know what the others at headquarters think about you, but... You're on the outside too now, Jax. Zaycor will see you as a separatist just like us. So, if you want to stay alive, I guess you're stuck with us. Zaycor won't forget you were sentenced for execution. That makes us allies of circumstance, if nothing else. You should speak with our leader, Sestak. Our headquarters are located at the Converter in South Abessa. I'd better get back to guard duty. There are outlaws roaming around out here. They will kill you and have your stuff on the black market before your body hits the ground. They haven't made us welcome, that's for sure. Thanks for the warning.
Commander Jax. I was wondering if I would see you again. You stopped taking Elix. You look... different. Have we met before? Not personally, but every Alb knows of your achievements. Everyone heard of your crash. We were told you had been executed, but recently I heard rumors of someone who sounded like you. I began to suspect you were still alive. Why aren't you with your unit? It seems like we have shared similar fates. I've been cut loose from Zaykor. I can't go back. I have to find a new way to fulfill my destiny. Are you with the Separatists? Psh, those idiots don't even know what they want. They are weak, overcome by emotion. They've abandoned the hybrid because of primitive fear and with no idea what they will do instead. Weak, stupid, emotional. While I have had to leave Zaykor, I believe in the hybrid. It is through his insight that we will survive. His powers will bring order to Zaykor. So why aren't you still a loyal soldier of Zaykor? So why aren't you still a loyal commander of Zaykor? I failed an important mission for the hybrid, so they attempted to execute me as the directive commands. I was fortunate. I fell from a cliff and they presumed I was dead. I've been trying to recover my strength and get answers since then. Then your executioner also failed. They will have to execute him when they discover that. There. That's my story. So now it's your turn. So tell me why you left Zaykor. I believe there are ways to make Albs stronger. That there are ways we can share minds to strengthen them. The collective mind is part of the hybrid strength. Yes, but I did my own research into shared minds. I experienced what it is to be an Alb, a true Alb. But my efforts weren't appreciated. They rejected me. They drove me from Zaykor. Now, I must live in exile. They wouldn't exile you for research. Are you serious? Yes. Look, you're an exile, I'm an exile. Here we stand, the two of us, both superior to the Albs that serve the hybrid. You and I, we should be the ones to decide our fate, and theirs. So what is your plan now? The only thing that matters right now is taking the heads of the Albs who are hunting me. Once I have them, then I can think of the future. I want them dead, and I want their heads. Cut their heads off? That should scare others off from pursuing you. You can't scare owls. No. If I get their heads, I can read their minds to learn how they plan to capture me. And I'm sure I can get you some useful tactical information when I do. Help me, and I will share my knowledge with you, provided you help me achieve my plan. You really think you can read their minds? If you bring me their heads, yes. Find my pursuers and bring me their minds. There's no way this can work. You sound like the Albs in Zaykor. Are you still under the hybrid's control, or can you think freely now? The two of us are in the same position. We should work together. You fight for my cause, and I will bring you the heads of your pursuers. Good. Then soon I can fill myself with their minds and we will know their plans. You should tell me where to meet if we become separated. I have a camp in some ruins west of Goliath. Very well. I'll find it. Follow me. Very well. Tell me about the Albs that are hunting you. They've sent three commanders to find me. I'd be flattered if they weren't all imbeciles. The first is Bartox. He is searching the southern reaches of Zaykor, which only goes to prove he's an idiot. The second is Pollux. He trailed me through western Abessa, but I managed to throw him off. The third is Tiraz. I last saw him on the border to Ignidon. I'll send their locations to your adjutor. 
And I just need their heads. You can leave the rest of them to rot. Tell me more about your time in Zaycor. I served my time on patrol. I served the hybrid. In the evening, I mostly experimented with new preparation methods for ingesting purified elix. They made me feel... stronger. You mean, you ate elix? Yes, but a concentrated, focused form of elix. It opened the hybrid's mind, why not mine? Open your mind to what? Who knows? The hybrid says he can see the future. Maybe I could too. Whatever it does, the taste is sensational. And preparing it is an art. I'll complete my preparations and you can share it. Maybe it will open your mind. How do you think we're doing working together? You have proven to be moderately reliable. Remembering that you are an ALB would make you more efficient. ALB attacks on the free people have decreased. Something must have happened in the Ice Palace since I was last there. The question is, what? Such shield technology is wasted in Abessa. All that to hide refugees and rejects. That technology was invented by Albs, and it should have remained with the Albs. This teleporter is active. It appears to be connected to another near the Hort in Ignodon. Hey, you've been out in the wilderness, right? Yes. Well, I'm looking for a guy, and I wonder if you've seen him. He's called Ray. He's an outlaw with a big mouth on him. Bit of a waster. You haven't met him anywhere out there, have you? No, I've not met anyone called Ray. Yeah? Well, if you do find Ray, can you let me know? What's it worth? If it's a real lead and not troll crap, then I'll pay you a decent reward for the information. But don't think you can go lying to me and making up where he is. I'll know a lie if I hear it.
They say people worship these towers as gods in the old world. Now it is time for the inferior to worship us. They say people worship these towers as gods in this world. Now it is time for the inferior to worship us. <laughs> 